Hey everybody, it's Jess and welcome to Fine Girls Jess. And today I figured we would take it back a little bit. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Um, a lot of you guys who've been following me for a minute know that this channel was mostly hair, like hair care, hair journey, product reviews, um, protective styles, hair reviews, that sort of thing. And I kind of ventured out into a little bit of fashion and then I ventured out into a little bit of makeup. And then as of lately, it's been planners. Um, simply because I like this channel and I feel like this is kind of my life. And I give you guys an insight into the little things of my life, if that makes sense. I used to do some like relationship videos and then I realized I'm not great at relationships. So yeah, anywho. We're back with something kind of original, kind of getting into what this channel was founded on and started on. And um, yeah, my 10 year natural anniversary is about to come up in May. In a couple of days, like we will be hitting the 10 year mark. And it's kind of strange to me because you would think at 10 years of being natural, my hair will be down to my butt or it will be nice and full and all this other stuff. But I cut my hair too much, so go figure on that. I dye my hair too much, go figure on that. I don't do what I'm supposed to do to get it to grow, so <laughs> why not start going forward into my 10 years of being natural with a hair growth video of sorts. I look a mess. I just got finished working out not too long ago. Um, I haven't washed my hair yet. This is old hair. This is sweat has um, provided a little bit of fullness to your hair sort of situation going on here. But this is my hair and it's probably been the healthiest it's been since I first went natural. So I thought to myself, self, Jess, Jess, you want to grow your hair out. You want your hair to be healthy. What are you going to do? Hmm. So the first thing, I stopped cutting it. <laughs> I've trimmed it once. And that was a couple of months ago. I probably won't trim it again for a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been wearing protective styles. I've been leaving my hair alone. The issue with protective styles is that when you have fine thin hair, you can only leave protective styles in for a shorter period of time. And you have to be worried about how much comes out, the pulling, the tugging, that sort of thing. It's a whole fine art to it than our thicker, coarser uh, textured sisters, which, you know, it is what it is. I've been dealing with my hair for all of my life. So here, here we are. Anywho, let me stop rambling because y'all know I like to talk. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start. A healthy growth hair challenge and if you guys want to join in I would appreciate it and if not you know you could just see my journey here on the internet streets you know because here we are <laughs> so yeah let me just say quick side note um stepping into quarantine 2020 into week I think this is seven ish I don't know um Going into this week, I pretty much have gotten to the point where I just realized I don't really care how I come to you guys on camera anymore. It is what it is. Um, anywho, I haven't laid my edges down. I haven't done anything to my hair. This is literally after post-workout here. But this is my length or my fullness um i mean i could be like oh one of my curls pull down comes to like right here this is my collarbone and it's like a little bit up under it i'm not really gonna do that this for me is going to be more so let's see how big my hair gets how full it gets how healthy it is lasting What's my shedding looking like? Is there breakage? Um, I'm not so more so focused on length per se, but I want my fullness curly curls. So, yeah. Here's what my hair looks like now. So I'm going to just turn 
do the 360. There you go. So basically, I figured I would show you guys what I plan on using during this time. So I forgot something. Hold on. Okay. So we are going to be going into putting my hair into a protective style. So this video will focus on the things that I do, the steps that I'm going to take in order to get my hair ready for a protective style. Along the way, bits and pieces, you are going to get videos of what I'm doing while my hair is in a protective style, um, what protective styles I'm you utilizing to grow my hair out, um, what I'm doing on my breakers, my breaks, my break-ins, my breaks from protective styles. So normally I would rock a protective style for three weeks, give my hair a week of rest, and then go back into a protective style for another three weeks. And it works for me, so this is what we're going to be doing. Um, so I'll just like do bits and pieces here along the line. I'll make a playlist for this. And um, yeah, so this is going to be our first video in my little series. And it's going to be the steps I'm taking in order to get ready for a protective style in my hair. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Because I figured, you know, you, you will want to know what I'm using, right? Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be using is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Honey and Coconut Oil Nourish and Shine Shampoo. This is sulfate free and color safe. Um, I don't particularly like, well... I won't say I don't like it. It's just not my the best shampoo I've ever experienced in my life. I think it has a lot to do with the coconut oil. But I am a believer of use the products and it's a shampoo. So shampoos just cleanse your hair. I just know that I need to provide a little bit extra moisture on the back end for me. So I'm going to use it until it's gone. Um, so yeah, you're going to start with washing your hair. I wash my hair one time. I let water run through my hair for about five minutes. I know it's a lot, um, but I like to get my hair fully saturated it fully into the water my hair loves water and so yeah then I wash focus on your um, your scalp first and then move the uh, shampoo down to your ends so this will be my shampoo next you're going to need rice water <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that rice water is my go-to thing. I have let this rice water ferment for about three days, I think. Um, and then I just put it in the fridge today. Um, so, yeah. I've talked about this in my rice water challenges. I will link some of those videos down in the description box. So, open it up because they're informative. And I'm not going to keep... Well, for a time's sake I just don't want to repeat myself repetitively um but I'm gonna use this I'm gonna put it in a spray bottle um I make small batches because I don't have a lot of hair what I need to make a huge batch for I make a small batch um I'm actually gonna save this rice from this batch I'm gonna keep it in my fridge because uh I follow a lady and I, don't, I can't remember her name but she does a rice milk poo from when she takes her hair her braids and her protective styles down and I absolutely want to try it out and she uses the the leftover rice from her rice water so you know you don't feel like you're wasting your rice here especially you know with quarantine with rice being out of stock for like a good month or so I mean but I have rice anyway this is just regular rice regular old white rice um yeah so I'm going to use rice water and the way I use rice water is I spray my hair after I wash my hair I spray my hair down with the rice water fully saturate my hair and then um, I put a conditioning mask over it but this go round we're going to kind of tweak things a little bit so I'm going to use the rice water in addition with my cream of nature black um, aloe and black castor oil healthy and long fortifying hair mask uh, so I'm going to let this those two things sit together on my hair for three hours 
yes it's a lot I know at least three hours um I'm real big on letting my hair mask sit penetrate all that stuff you could of course speed track the process with um heat or anything like that I choose not to you know just do what works best for you so I'm going to put that on together and then after I rinse that out I'm going to follow up with the cream of nature pure honey moisture replenish and strength hair mask okay so let me tell you why I'm using two different types of hair masks um so protein I mean not protein rice water is like a protein treatment so it's going to dry your hair out a bit and this mask even though it has some moisturizing benefits it doesn't have a ton so I want to follow up with a hair mask that's going to keep my hair nice soft supple that sort of thing um, anytime you do a protein treatment you want to follow up with a moisturizing element a deep conditioner whatever the case may be so that's going to be my line and then as far as how I get my hair ready afterwards it's going to be the same old thing with your moisturizing um, techniques. So I prefer the lock method so I use like a liquid type leave-in, an oil and then a cream um, based product over it. So normally I use my um, own personal leave-in that I make which is just cheapy conditioner um, oil and water but the one that I already have made is the rice water one which my hair absolutely likes so I'm gonna use that and it's just the same things um, but I just put some rice water in it that's it then I apply an oil to seal that in and then lately I have been using the um, the leave-in from this line over as my cream um, of choice just because it's a thicker leave-in so it kind of gives my hair that extra moisture from the cream base type situation without weighing my hair down so yeah that's going to be the start of my protective or my growing healthy hair series so this is what I'm going to do in line with that um, I figured it would be better for me to just talk it out than to actually show you every little itty bitty step because I've done these steps in different videos um, but I just kind of wanted to kind of give an introduction and a talk through which I hope you guys enjoy um, but yeah so the next time you guys see me I will have a protective style um, and I'll come and I don't know I'll try to do some kind of video to kind of show you what I'm using in my protective style but I feel like that should be a video of the products I use so we'll come back to that in a minute so yeah until next time you guys bye